people oh, doing a little troubleshooting here. Alright. So it's at zero now, right? Alright. Uh take that screen out the way. Push cancel. Alright. You say is that is that 14 now? Okay. So, so is that a hundred? So I got ten, and, and it's actuating. Uh -huh. Okay. So I got ten uh, DC volt, and it's actuating, but it's uh, and it's gone to a hundred percent. So nine. Yeah, nine is going the other way. Trying to hold it. So I'm at 58. I got 50 on my meter, 5 on my meter. So, so it, it's actuating correctly. But it's actually opening up my discharge pressure. It's 55. So my discharge, see that valve closing up. See now it's just fluctuating on its own. So it should be opening up right now. Okay. Okay, just let it do that and see see if it's gonna stay uh hundred percent open. So I'm at 9.2 and I got 91%. So it's reading correctly. Let's see if it stay there, cause it should be, see it just fluctuating back and forth. Seeing like, see now it's going back to the closed position. You, you, and you got it in auto? Okay. So I'm checking my DC voltage from two to five on my control voltage. It should match up, match up to the percentage. So I got 53% on my on my chill water valve. 53%, and I got pretty much the same on my meter. Can't hold this right. But my set point is 48. And my discharge temperature is 55. So I should have 1% on my chill water valve. Hey, uh, put that chill water valve, override it to 100 and see. Cause I think that's gonna close it. Right here is 100% open. 
Damn. See, it's calling for 100%. So my discharge temperature should, should start dropping. I go to the uh, go to your uh, we're gonna come back go to the chiller and see what my uh, supply water temperature is uh, 45, 45. 45. Mm. do you know how to reset the chiller I'm gonna have to show you how I think I got an alarm on one of those chillers. Is, right. is it just 90 outside? Right. I still have about 42. All right, go back to the air handler. Okay, take that chill water vial to zero. Uh, stop. Now the temps are dropping? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's reversed. Yeah, that's open. Okay, okay I see now. I think I'm about to change them dip switches. Cause zero on here mean mean that is nah. Let me see this chart. What was that discharge at temperature? What was the discharge at temperature at first? So it's going up. Right. Uh, so it did close. Uh, yeah. So that valve closed. It it closed, but, but uh, it like it's going the wrong way. Uh, that should be closed. We got DA and RA. Which one of the dip switches? It is. DA. Okay. Um, let's do it right here. Put that dip switch on there. Okay, put it put it at uh 100% now. Should be it. I think I have to change. 
tight as this. Let me know that temperature start going down. All right. I'm at 60. I got the valve 100% open at the front end, um, so it's closed right now. Temperature going up, so I'm gonna open it. That's 100% open. So I put the new valve on. and open there. Match it up the same way. I want this to represent open, the wide open, and that'll represent closed. So I got my dip switches. Uh, I'm make sure it's right though. I can check the DC voltage, but I'll skip that blank on this one. So that'd be like clockwise. And if we was to move that on the other, be counterclockwise. Just so wanna get this on here good and tight.
think that should be good and tight. I got black on one, red on two, white on five. And the five for the DC boats, I think four for like milliamps. Are you still up there? No, I'm at five right now. Alright, Carl, I need you to hit that valve for me. Yeah. Alright, right. I'll call you when I get over there. Appreciate it.
Oh yeah. So I got this one 1% open now and it's going in that direction. So we good. I think we good to go on this. So I'm gonna have him stroke it to zero. Make sure it closed. All right. All right. So I'm gonna go to DC voltage, DC range. I'm at 10, I mean 100. Okay, go from zero to 10. Cause I'm at 100%, I have him stroke that. First I'm gonna have him stroke it to five, which which uh, is 50% 50, 50 then I have him go to zero, which is zero. We give him a minute to get down there. Like I say, right now I'm at 100%. That's why I got 10 on my DC voltage. Ten DC voltage at one hundred percent, and I'm one hundred percent open. Cause I changed my dip switches and uh, the uh, bold thicker represent, you know, wide open, and as it get uh, a line on the uh, diagram, I mean closed. You see, I got my Y1, my uh, uh, DC voltage on five. If I would use the M8 milliamps, I would, uh, I think they go for zero to what, 20 on a milliamp. I would use uh, number four. But we're using five DC voltage. You see one and two, that's a 24 volt. One and two, 24 volt. Let's check that. I'm, I'm gonna change that to uh, AC and from one and two 26 see I got my 24 volts there and let's say go back to DC when I want to check my percentages Just waiting on him to uh, get to the front end. And he'll stroke it to 50%, which should be about right here. And from two to five, I should have five DC voltage.
All right, what you got? Hey. Uh, go. Yeah. Go. Right. Okay. We'll go to. Hey. Yeah. On your valve. On your chill water valve. Go to uh 50 percent. On your chill. On your chill. Uh, uh, on your chill wa on your chill water valve go to 50 percent see we go to 50 percent i should go to five see it is broken now everything like working correctly i'm at five that means calling for five on the front end and my valve is going to Hopefully go halfway. I guess that's fifty percent. Okay, go to zero. Should be about right here though. Alright, I got it. 